Here we are. What's that song? Dispari, dispar, how do you go? Dispar. How's it go? Dispar. Dispar. Anyway, this is the curse of, you ready everyone? La Yoro, you, how do you do double L? La Yorona. La Yorona. La Yorona. Say it, Nats. La Yorona. La Yorona. La, 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 la I can't do it. La. I don't know what it is. Cause the curse. You've got any clue what it is here. It's called the no, curse of La Yorona. 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 The curse of La Yorona. It's also called the curse of the weeping woman. La Yorona was a woman who haunts people in Latin American folklore because she lost her children. Curse of the Weeping Woman. Sounds like you, Ned. So anyway, here we go. It's, uh, I think this is gonna be a big hit. And this is the second trailer that has landed for it. Just one more time. The Curse of La Llorona. Oh, why can't I do it? Just stop The Curse of La Llorona. L-L-O-R-O-N-A. L-L-O. Yeah, L is Y in Spanish. The Curse of La Llorona. The curse of la Yorona. Yeah, la Yorona. Yorona. Say, me llamo. Me llamo. Como te llamas? Me llamo Nadia. Como te llamas? Me llamo Maddie. Muy bien. Can we watch Yorona. it? Oh my God. Trisha, I'm very sorry about your loss. It's your love. I can't even imagine how you must feel. Oh, her love her. Blood lines. Your children. Lindsay. Lindsay. Are safe now. I thought they heard her crying. And they felt the sting of her tears. Weeping tears. They will. And she will come for them. Who? My Jordana. I've seen those kind of scares before. I've, and I don't find those kinds of hands scary. We, we've seen a lot of those hands. The hands were a bit too made up. Were they? I think there was too much makeup on them. They it's remind me of your hands, Ned. Oh, thanks. No, I mean, you know, in a certain light, if you've done the gardening, they could be your hands. Um, I agree. I think, I, unfortunately, I think it falls foul of the old haunted house. Well, it's just doing windows stuff that going, we've seen so many all that kind of stuff. Before. Yeah, but, but guys, to be fair, you are very, very seasoned True. horror movie True. watchers. And I think for a lot of people, that will scare the bejesus out of them. I no, I'm not saying, I, I'm saying it's, it's still jump scary, but everybody, like everybody my age, we're getting so sick of horror films. Really? Because all horror films have the same sort of scare. I don't find people going with really made up hands going like that. I just don't find it scary. Does that right. happen a lot then? It, every horror film I've seen. Really? That you see scares like that. The curtain, they come out the curtain. Yeah. Wow. They're in a new house. 
I mean, hereditary. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, films like Hereditary sort of twist it around a bit. Well, they're, they're different. Kind of, yeah, they're they're different. But even Hereditary went for it towards the end. I mean, Nadia, you absolutely loathe horror films. Does that get you at all? Um, you like you like the lead actress. I forget her name. The woman from Bloodlines. I love don't the you? lead actress. Yeah. Um, cute kids. I love cute kids. Yeah. I I I kind of agree with Maddie. I I haven't watched a lot of horror movies, but I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't think there's going to be... Well, the first trailer was a much better trailer because the they had a, a really long good. scene trapped in a car. Do you remember? Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. trying to kind of lock it and, and, and get out. And the way out. that she's kind of dressed in a wedding dress and everything, I just find it too unrealistic. It's a bit annabelle isn't it? It's yeah. just too well, unrealistic. Or I find horror films scary when they're more realistic. Like the one we watched, Yes. I watched the other night, Unfriended, which is like... Oh, yeah, set in the real set world. Set in the... People on Skype getting mm. stuck in the dark web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that that you know could possibly happen, but that, you'd never find it's a woman with tribe, white it? hands and black fingernails yes. dressed in a wedding dress. It's all a bit derivative, isn't it? It's like The Nun, it's like The Conjuring, yeah, it's, it's like Annabelle, ridiculous. it's like... Yeah, I know what you mean. And it's James Wan as the producer, and he's the producer of all the Conjuring films, too. That makes sense. So, uh, I mean, it's very Conjuring. That said, I'm jury's out for me, because I thought the first trailer was yeah, e the first... excellent. Because they didn't excellent. show her as much. So no, they didn't. They no, them. you're right. They've shown the bloody fingers. What would you do to protect your kids, Nadia, in a haunted house situation? She'd scrap get on a plane and go to another country. What if the doors kept locking and you kept no, being trapped in a room? No, but the problem with most horror films is that the, the spirit or whatever latches onto you, so yeah. wherever you go, it will follow. Oh my God, no. So, in fact, it wouldn't be a case of you rescuing. It would be... Nadia would be possessed. I can imagine Mum being a possessed. I, actually, one. yeah, I can... I, yeah. Mum would be like the Mum in Babadook. She'd be mental. She'd be like the mum in Hereditary, smashing her head against the uh, no, but attic door. Babadook was pretty bad. Yeah. Remember that? She floats around and then snaps oh, the dog's true. neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you're a bit? Do you think you're possessed, babe? Have you ever thought you I'll were possessed? I'll be possessed soon if I don't get the dinner on. All right, then, go on. Then. <laughs>